I'm about to level. Wait, Yennefer, where are you taking me? Oh my god, everyone's talking. Oh man. Oh, we can run. Why don't we run? Tell me, Lugos. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Oh god. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. <laughs> Calm down. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Wow. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing, total war with the Empire is another. Awfully melty this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Oh. Hey. Know what, Lugos? Just realized <laughs> I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some toy version. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Oh yeah? Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. <laughs> gob slapping. Oh god, he's level 60. What the fuck? I can't see him. Oh. Should I? Do I have to do David Danish shit? Sorry for the camera angles, guys. How you like that? Ooh! 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 You miss, you miss. Mm, 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 mm. I can't see. Where the fuck is he? Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Why are you level 60? Yeah. Yeah. Had enough. Ah, he got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. Yeah, better. I'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. <laughs> Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction, sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Yeah, I like that. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. I can't, man. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Oh god, not that quest. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Aaron Bjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Uh, I can't. I'm sorry. No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. Yo, land rats are all the same. I fear to your wenches. Hey, you want a beating? There you go. Alright. Last time Jake and Yennefer got mad at me, so let's not do that. Alright. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Oh. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Hey, come on. <sighs> Why you do this? <sighs> we need an information, and it's about Siri, so it's kind of important 
to Geralt, so we have to do it. Take it, Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Okay. Come, right. Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. <laughs> Correct. Oh my god. Typical Yennefer. Taking f always tells me on the spot. There will be another an egg. The hell? Fuck! I want to loot all this stuff, but I can't. Pretty sure it's useless, but eh. I don't seem useless. Ooh. Footsteps. Uh oh. Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrow's chip. Wait, well, Starleys. Sure. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. <laughs> what the hell? Can't take off my uh, stuff now. That'd be nice. Nightingales crew. That was close. <laughs> oh, was that a? Fuck! I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I can't think of it in my head. This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens. <sighs> Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. What? You gonna go through the ledge too? Alright. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia. Being romantic. Oh. Oh, well, lucky for you, you can teleport. I gotta fucking climb this shit. But damn! That is Skellige! Oh, man. That is sick. Look at that. Oh. Oh, man. That's so cool. Alright. Is there anything worth? Oh, that is worth. That is definitely worth. I need all the alcohols I can get. Oh, yeah. Wait, maybe there's more. Oh, there's water. I'll take some water. And some fifth essence. I don't know what that's for. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious. Fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Okay. I wonder if you guys notice that my chair sometimes falls down. You can see me just like slowly going down my chair. Uh, I'm not sure, but <laughs> I mean, I, I keep cutting the video though, so I'm not sure if you guys can notice. Maybe. I don't know. Just that my chin is always above the mic, and I think my chair goes down to the my mouth to the mic. But uh, what am I doing again? Oh, exploring room here with your sentence. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Wolves. Wolves. Looks alive. They do, don't they? Pretty sure deer won't hurt us. Examine deer. Examine deer. No. Oh. A hundred loose an arrow if he saw that in the woods. A big bear. Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. All right. All right. I mean, there's a door here. Try luck. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Ho! Oh. Coming closer. Oh, wow. What? Lost your nerve? Strange. 
smells of mushrooms. <laughs> I'm high right now, guys. Ooh, ooh. One more baby, let's fight. Yeah, I'm high. And I knock out. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> you were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. <laughs> uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Oh my Rested God. nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Gladly. Let's go inside, Geralt. Cool. I'm pretty sure it was an easier way, but I forgot. Oh, I just don't remember. I'll lock the entrance. Okay. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ooh. I'm pretty sure Emir knows already. Our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Erberos must be here. Letter bearing Ermion's seal to the druids warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. Oh God. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. How are you reading, Yen? Is that a... It's a book. Statue's hand looks like it should be holding something. What should you be holding? I wonder. Pinecone? Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Tales of the Wild Hunt. Nope, don't need that. A mead. Or triple mead. Nope, don't want that either. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Yes. Alright, I forgot what he wanted. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Oh. <laughs> well then. Good to know. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Yes. What? Let's try a pine cone. Why do you say we give it a pine cone? Nothing. Lame. Was it the mug? I don't remember where it was. A mug of mead. Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Hey, it was. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Uh, hopefully. It seems like a monster there. Or it's Ermion himself. Someone pushing me? Oh, Jennifer is. Geralt, come here. I found the mask. Yes, but there's a golem there. This is it. Yeah, you take the mask. Got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Careful now. Oh yeah. Did she help me this time? Shit. Oh, you like that, buddy? Oh, it hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it's done. Oh. Whew. Don't play like me, guys. It's pretty bad. Hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Great, still closed. Gotta think of something quick. 
Yes. Oh, you're not gonna help me, are you? Uh, what can I do? Oh. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. A needle. Wouldn't mind watching. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to cut it off here. You guys didn't miss much. Just saying. Just a love scene, you know, typical love scene of Witcher. About it. Kraken create asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. I'll wait. No, heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We will take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. <laughs> May the best man a woman <laughs> win. What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children. The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. Most beautiful day, snowy day. Oh my God, Skellige! How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. A 
and I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. No, we need, yeah. need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, at Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here on Arch Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Cool. Anvil, tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Oh god, I guess I gotta... How will we say this? Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Oh, I got it. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordalach here on Ardskelleg. I a... heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Undvik, then travel on foot to Oscar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Alright, what about this? Take it, Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. <laughs> Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Okay. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. Right. A successful feast on all counts, Krara. I will see you later. Hi, Jennifer. Whew. All right. Skellige is not really um a big 
a big place. It won't take that long to finish Galaga. It's pretty short, but it's a lot of sailing and walking, which is probably the most painful thing, which will take the most time. But uh, let's put back on my armor for we start, so I don't die. There we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a break right here, and I'll see you guys in the next part of The Witcher 3. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be right back.